what's up guys Irvin John here with the fitnessjournals.com and in this video I'm gonna be telling you guys why you should not do calisthenics now honestly and truly I'm gonna keep it real once again this channel is about keeping it real keeping it real with you guys helping you understand a lot of the questions that need to be answered about health and fitness now to be honest calisthenics is pretty overhyped <laughs> got him <laughs> No, that's not the reason why. Calisthenics is awesome. It's a really, I mean, it's an amazing way to stay in shape, a great alternative. If you don't have a ton of fancy equipment, if you don't have money to go to the gym, you could, with a little bit of ingenuity and with consistency and discipline, you can see awesome results doing strictly calisthenics. Now, once again, I'm looking out for you guys. So if you have experienced an injury, for example, uh, it's not gonna be the best idea to do calisthenics. Now, why is that? Now, the nature of calisthenics is highly dependent on like compound exercises. What is compound exercises? Compound exercises is when multiple muscle groups are involved with a movement, an exercise. Now, the truth is there isn't a ton of low intensity isolation exercise that you can perform when doing only calisthenics. Now, obviously, if your goal is fat loss, teaching your body how to work together, you know, uh, psychomotor skills and whatnot, Calisthenics is awesome because of the compound exercises involving those multiple muscle groups. If you're trying to burn a ton of cal calories, obviously the more muscle groups that you could get involved, the better for you for your goal for fat loss. Now let's say for example that you sustain a unilateral anatomical injury, you might, which means an injury to one side of your body. You might find it difficult to uh, identify an exercise at the right load and resistance for rehabilitation of the injured area. Controlling a specific range of motion and being able to dictate the resistance and the load is very important for rehab of the injured area. So that's why specialized equipment so like weight, weights or resistance band, that would probably be the best idea to go, the best route to go when you're dealing with the injury. And calisthenics not so much, once again, because of the nature of calisthenics. Now I'm not saying this to say, Oh, don't do calisthenics at all if you have an injury. Be smart, be wise in the, the, the steps that you take if you know you're injured. You don't wanna further put yourself into the hole that you're already in if you're trying to get out. And by doing calisthenics compound exercises that involve all these major muscle groups, it's probably not the best idea to go that route if you have an injury. Take the time, step back. If you have to use resistance bands or weights uh, at the appropriate intensity to reha rehabilitate that area, do it. So once again, guys, calisthenics is awesome. I love calisthenics. You really can't go wrong. Uh, keeps you functional. People say you can't build muscle. We know that's not true anymore. So guys, once again, to each his own, I'm not preaching against any other form of exercise. All I'm here to do is enlighten you guys about the real things, the real things that go down in calisthenics. It's not, oh, these guys, all they do is tricks and you can't build muscle and whatnot. Do what you love to do. Whatever keeps you in shape, whatever keeps you fit, whatever keeps you moving, do that. Whether it be swimming, martial arts, freestyle cal calisthenics, regular strict form calisthenics, whatever it is, as long as you're keeping healthy, staying in shape, moving, getting active, that's what I promote at the end of the day. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, click that button. If this is informative, if you guys like what I, what I have coming, please leave a thumbs up and leave any comments, any questions, any tips to help me uh, as I move forward with this channel. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video. Take this shortcut real quick. Don't wanna go all the way around. Oh, there we go. Thank God for calisthenics. What's up guys? Irvin John here with thefitnessjournals.com and today we're gonna to be talking about shortcuts. And people love shortcuts down here.